We have exclusive details now on a spending shock. Private investigators employed by state government departments are costing taxpayers more than three quarters of a million dollars a year. The opposition has demanded the government explain why departments are paying PIs to spy on employees. The state government is keeping private investigators in business. I can see why uh, Magnum PI is a popular TV show. PI is popular with the government departments and businesses, spending more than three quarters of a million dollars last financial year to spy on staff for misconduct, breaches of discipline and information leaks. Well, we do employ 100,000 people. Uh, we're the biggest business in town. Uh, I looked at it, it looked reasonable. Uh, I might have spent a lot of money. Health Minister Kim Hames' department, the biggest spenders, more than $200,000 on 18 investigations. 19 conducted in the Department of Transport and Main Roads, totalling 163000 Horizon Power spent more than $150,000 on just one investigation. At least in the area that I've looked at, it looked justified and necessary, unfortunately. The Disability Services Commission had 19 investigations spending $150,000. The Water Corporation almost $120,000. While a host of other agencies and departments, including the WA Institute of Sport, Corrective Services and Education, amassed more than $126,000 on PIs. That totals more than three quarters of a million dollars. Ultimately, government needs to explain how it spends money. Now, private investigators are controversial. The state opposition believes thousands of taxpayer dollars could have been saved if government departments used the public sector commissioner instead of PIs to investigate. Why? Is it legitimate? Are they simply being bully boys and harassing or is it something that is genuinely in the needs of protecting taxpayers' money? And the state government is set to spend more next financial year with plans to use PIs to look over Uber's operations. Oliver Peterson, Nine News.